I suspect I've gotten myself a mini Monarch Mark III, which is only one third of the price. Let's talk about it. Hello guys, it's Jordan from Jordan Kid Review. Today, we'll be talking about Hype 2, a new series from TA Audio. And I'm super excited because there has been a long while where they left the hybrid market, they left the mid-5 uh, market. So they've been coming up with a lot of expensive stuff, okay, like the Prestige, the Prestige LTD, V16, Monarch Mark II, Monarch Mark III. So, I mean, there are a lot of people who are just entered the, the chai fi hobby, don't have really have a chance to actually give it a try because every, every product of theirs are so expensive. Finally, they're tuning out a little bit now. They're going back to the hybrid. Yes, like what they did with, they have the Legacy 345 series, which two 345 So, which a lot of people like it a lot. I myself like the Legacy 4 a lot because I'm a female vocal lover. So, and I miss those series a lot. Now they're coming out with this Hype series, which stand for Hybrid Performance. Uh, so it's supposed, I think, those that are coming out soon will be hybrid uh, configurations. So this is Hype 2. I guess this is just an introduction to the, to the series, uh, entry to the series. So it's a 2DD and a 2BA configuration. 2DD, they are using the Impact Square, which is the same technology that they are using on the Monarch Mark III, which they have two 10 millimeters driver a dynamic driver facing each other in an isobaric way. So, mm, wow. And they're using two BA and not just any normal BA, two Sonian BA, which I like. If you guys are not aware, Sonian BA sometimes, to me, I just like Sonian BA a little bit more and it's more expensive. Yeah, it's more expensive. It's not those very cheap BA that have that timber issue, I have that sharpness. In, in the sound so and have the metallic issue these don't have that i don't find sonian's uh ba have that kind of issue so to me uh the configuration is not something shocking i mean this hype 2 maybe with hype 3 hype 4 hype 5 you have 2 plus 3 2 plus 4 2 plus 5 so hopefully more things will come so excited with this series and let's uh we we'll talk about the sound later okay the sound later because does it sound like monarch mark 3 i'm so curious okay so and let's talk about the build first the build it is same exactly the same with the shell i mean the shape of the shell exactly same with ta audio oracle which is one of the most comfortable shell that i had or i tried okay the first one being uh the dunu sa6 sa6 having this super comfortable shell that i think no one would have complained because because even even you have medium ears or smaller ears or big ears no one ever have any issue okay but the dunu sa6 series that are coming out with bigger and bigger shell nowadays uh it's not comfy anymore but the og is very comfortable and second one is the Oracle. Oracle, um, other than the sound, which is so magical and so musical, and I don't know what are the words that we can, I can explain, I can describe the Oracle because it's just so nice, okay? It's still one of my daily driver after two years, okay? I've been using it for a long, 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 long time. And I, when I go travel, Switzerland, seven, uh, 13 hours flight, I still use it. This that's the IEM that I would choose to fly with me, mm -hmm. not others. And the shell, sorry, off topic. The shell of this Hype Two is using the same shape with the Oracle, exactly the same, with just two minor little difference where the two pin is no longer flush. So the two pin that is a little bit of recess there when you are changing your cables. You might need to look out for uh, a two-pin cable that have a little bit of extra longer uh, parts that you can actually plug into it. And also, the, there is a vent at the tip of the shell, which I think it will help with pressure release or to do things with the tuning of the DD. So other than that, it's super, super comfortable and I love it. When I got it, the first thing I do, I put it on, I know, yes, 
no need to try this must be the oracle shell and i do a b test and it's the same okay visually everything is the same size okay super comfortable and the cable <laughs> again the cable it is the oracle cable <laughs> yeah so and no complaint the oracle cable the est cable was one of my favorite cable last time okay because two years back we don't have a lot of aftermarket cable that have flush two pin out there now finally yeah we have a lot now so you have the chimera cable we have a lot of other uh, rum cable a lot of good cables out there that you can buy and change and nowadays also we have like effect audio all those cable that coming up with cheaper series that you can swap your cable to but that time we don't have a lot of other cables so the est cable was really good and it shines a lot it's quite nice looking handsome looking and functionally i find it quite good okay just plenty good nothing to complain about and it's nice looking it's soft easy to handle and don't tangle a lot so yeah i no complain i like um, the oracle shell i like the oracle cable so this is even not even the price of the oracle so why not okay with the accessories of the oracle and the packaging that it came with actually i would have missed the pelican case that they have been giving uh, in together with the oracle just don't know why maybe they are cutting out cost we don't get the pelican case anymore even if you buy the mona mark 2 mark 3 prestige they will come up with the same case okay although it's nothing special about the case but i still appreciate it so it's good okay i can put a lot of tips inside and a lot of other accessories so that's all for the physical aspect let's talk about sound like i said sorry for teasing you guys so long does it sound like the mona mark 3 it does in some way okay i've listened to it and i've measured it, both of them a b together there are things that are monarch mark 3 did way better but there are a little bit of similarities in both of them so looking at the graph i will put it here if you can't see the screen behind me i will just screenshot one down here it graph very very similar really very similar only at the treble part is this is different other than that most of it are quite similar especially from the sub bass to the mids is identical <laughs> it's identical just maybe i just have this uh, indication that maybe they are using the same impact square driver the 2dd that they are using are the same from the mona mark 3 not 100 percent sure about this don't hold on to my word because it measured the same and it stated the same name inside their website is called the impact square is 2dd and it came out around the same time i just having uh, speculation okay they might be the same and the amount of base here yes i would say that it have the similarities with the mark 3 because the base here is a lot really a lot okay for me i think that this is uh, felt to me a bit more bassy than the mona mark 3 because uh, mona mark 3 have that um, boosted treble as well uh, i mean compared to the mark 2 we have boosted mid bass and boosted treble so it kind of balance off okay balance off but while here the treble is not as intense as the mona mark 3 so hence the bass are taking the show taking the stage hence i think that the bass over here is quite prominent more prominent because there are nothing else to stand across the stage that to to compare uh, to balance out the things that's why i find that the bass over here is quite a bit too much or for you guys who love bass then great okay you will like this set a lot because it have a lot of bass and the bass here are different with the sets with like others okay i think that ta audio if you have heard the mark 2 the t uh, monarch mark 2 monarch mark 3 you know that the bass on those are not that kind of bass that are very very snappy or tactile they rumble a lot because they're of that amount that do rumble a lot but they don't give you that speediness they don't have that um tactility that snappiness 
okay so it does uh, impact wise it will have but not like what you have seen from the graph okay the graph here you thought that you have super big fast impact but it doesn't okay it doesn't so it's a good thing or a bad thing depends on your taste okay depends on your taste depends if you're a person that like planar iron because you like the speediness of the base over there is super fast super fun like something from the s12 but you won't get it here this is the total opposite but amount quantity wise they've given it to you it's so much here okay and it's quite good in texture which a lot of other DDIM are not able to do texture okay like planar IM they can't do texture based because it's so fast okay it's so fast pop then it's done no more so here you have that okay you have that the base felt to me textured well textured and a lot all right next go to the mix every TA, TA audio um, review they have done i say the same thing because their mids are the same all across the oracle the oracle mark 2 monarch mark 2 monarch mark 3 all of them even this hype 2 have the same mids this is the ta audio house sound okay they are signature mids so i find it i don't have any fault on it and i love it so much this is one of the clean cleanest mids that you can get out there look at the graph you can find can you find any other brand that measure like this flat all across okay most of the time you have a little bit just a little bit of v shape or a little bit of u but maybe not exactly v but you will have slightly a little bit of that shape here you don't have that we give you flat okay just flat which is i love it very very much one of the biggest reasons I like the Oracle uh, Mark 1, the OG, is because of the mids. Super clean, like crystal, like some other gems out there, diamonds. Okay, so, and what I find the differences with this set and the, the Mona Mark 3 is after upper mid range all the way to the treble. Okay, it's done totally different. To be fair, this is only one third of the price, $299. Monarch Mark III is $999, okay, so it's one third of the price. So there goes the difference from here. The vocal on the Hype 2 is not forward. Same thing, I don't think they like to do a lot of forward vocal, at least from uh, the Oracle, from the Claire Warrens, from Monarchs. None of them are like super forward kind of vocal, except the Legacy 4. So all of them, most of them are just at the neutral position, just normal okay it's not recessed or anything just normal it sounded like a monitoring kind of distance and this set having good detail as well but not as good as of course the Monarch Mark 3 Monarch Mark 3 to me is quite detailed very detailed very good detail retrieval from the Monarch Mark 3 here it's not that okay it's not that it's good I mean if you compare it to a lot of other hybrid out there this is considered good and the detail retriever here i can find it like i would say just really good but subject to the bass and the songs they are listening to if you are listening to a song a very very bassy song then detail retriever might be a little bit sacrificed because the bass is just a little bit too overpowering okay it depends on the song uh the songs that you're listening to to me i'm listening to j-pop which which don't have a lot a lot of bass hence i still can get that amount of detail out from the treble from this set and the treble from this set is not as intense as the Monarch mark 3 no fatiguing issue if you have leave the comment down below okay i will apologize to you because this one you will not ever ever get any fatigueness or any sharpness any sign of sharpness from this set i would always almost call it a dark set because of that base is so much okay we don't have a verdi treble that actually that can stand up to the base that's why you won't find anything sharp here because anything sharp would have been covered by the base so and they're using sonian ba hence sharpness wise no issue even you are the most sensitive ears in the world 
you will be able to take it okay you will be able to take it and uh, other than that staging on those I don't find it particularly well like just to me normal because standing from the point that I've tried so many other sets at this $299 staging is normal nothing especially good it sounded like what it should have been okay so no complaint from the staging here but of course Monarch Mark III to compare you have that whole white holographic kind of 3Dness to it then this of course don't have that and what I would have reached is that this set if it has that a little bit more treble just a little bit okay just a little bit that are done well not forcefully added kind of artificial treble but a treble that are done well this will have been perfect okay will have been perfect so if we having hype 3 in the few coming months or hype 4 hype 5 if they added a few more uh, BA to the set maybe those can cater to the treble a little bit more than wow this is a killer series out there okay so it, it is really really good compared to the graph here you can see that the treble uh, especially after 10k is just roll off quite a little bit compared to the mark 3 mark 3 just keep going keep going so um treble yeah i just find it a little bit lacking if or even if my wildest imagination if this thing have maybe two est in there wow i can get a very very cheap and good monarch mark something mini mini monarch mark 1.5 or something so ah wow that's just a wow uh, imagination that i would have got i mean i hope okay so really just uh, a little bit more trouble than this would have been perfect and one thing i forgot to talk about the faceplate <laughs> so leave it to you here faceplate there are two color here one in blue one in purple i myself got on the purple but you guys should go and get the blue <laughs> yes just check out more photos is kind of contrary okay kind of contrary the purple look good in in the photo that they have taken look very very good on the photos that they have taken even look good on the photo that i have taken but the real thing uh -uh, it just to me a little bit dull looking contrary blue looks very very ugly in the photo okay doesn't look good in the photo but the real thing my friend have it super nice looking shell okay so yeah really i would say um get the blue man <laughs> we get the blue so you will love the blue more appreciate the blue more than the purple uh purple not to say that it's too bad but um just to me a bit dull although they have the gold a little bit of gold not sure whether you can see i think you can't see because it's so dark and dull <laughs> so uh get the blue love love it more and uh let's do some comparison okay you guys just like comparison so, so let's compare it to my some of my favorite sets uh monarch mark 3 already done you know that uh have lesser treble uh, lesser stage lesser airiness uh lesser detail retrieval so everything up in the treble area is lesser so that's the comparison with the monarch mark 3 comparison with my favorite hybrid guess what my favorite hybrid is i think it should be the zen t2 mangrove t2 if you guys say it, is oh so good okay so good i just love it very very much not sure why the graph don't give it justice because it graph boring okay don't have a lot of base in the graph and the treble look very laid back but this is not the case it's so nice okay um the base of course way lesser than the the hype 2 so uh but the snappiness okay the impact the punchiness is better on the t2 okay but quantity wise the hype uh the hype 2 having more having more uh quantity so i'm so confused t2 hype 2 and the mids the mids on both are the same like the clean and cleanliness of the mids okay the best thing about the t2 is the mids and the upper mid range so 
uh, I would say that if I were to listen to female vocal, I will turn towards the T2 more, okay? But if I'm listening to things that are more bassy or male vocal, I will go back to the Hype 2. These have more thickness. This has more, I would say, uh, energy in, in the bass. So I would take this if I'm listening to something pop pop song rock song or maybe some edm hip-hop i go back to this female vocal j-pop all those i would go back to the t2 and detail retrieval on both i would say this might even have more detail retrieval from the t2 t2 it just to me even more laid back than this okay even though the t2 is laid back don't have a lot of treble but they don't have a lot of bass so okay here um a lot of bass hence that's why one of the issue and um what i was going to compare with maybe uh i would say canon 2 yeah canon 2 is having one plus four we don't have a lot of hybrid with two dd out yet so uh that's why i can't do a lot of comparison uh the canon 2 of course the bass both of them are the same kind of bass that have that same traits that i not very fun of which is the punchiness snappiness the speed both are not there okay like this okay it's like this this don't have that the can it do don't have that as well so but the quantity wise still this have more bass <laughs> okay this have the most bass out of everything that i'm about to compare to later so just to be fair because this is the most basic hybrid that i have okay i have very limited hybrid so this is the most uh, basic one that I have and I would say that the treble extension on the Canon 2 is way better than this okay even though there's only having four BA but the treble extension on the Canon 2 is yeah so good okay even better than the T2 so um, comparison wise I would say this what give it the magic for you guys to try this this have the tonality of the Mona Mark 3 do you have that Canon 2 you don't so that's why you lose so just kidding but depends on taste okay depends on taste the last one a comparison that maybe you guys would like to know 2DD just struck my mind suddenly we have the uh, what we call that Moondrop Blessing 3 yes 3 not 2 anymore just now we have all the comparison the, the rumble the arena with 2 okay T2 Canon 2 Hype 2 now 3 Blessing 3 and blessing tree uh, <laughs> cannot make it okay that cannot make it base it is as triple the amount of the base of the blessing tree <laughs> okay so uh base here of course has more way more than that okay way more than that that sounded very thin this sounded super thick okay it's like a really opposite rival okay with opposite uh, traits where this has totally opposite um, characteristic with the blessing tree you see why i say that the blessing tree is thin sounding this is very thick that have less bass has small bass the detail ritual on the blessing tree super good on blessing tree here is a bit lackluster normal but i mean it's not too far apart okay not too far apart and just that this two i will give it to i would just pick this one for a more long-term listening session for a more comfy and uh, laid-back listening session for long term so that's all for the comparison that you guys have and thank you linso again for sending this and then uh hope that we'll be seeing more of those like the t um hype three four five increase a little bit of travel wow or just put yes t in there okay and it would be awesome so that's all for the video today please like and subscribe so I'll see you again next time bye bye